Today, I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing and a review of the Dispe 3.0 nippers. Let's get it. What's going on guys, Plama Therapist here. If you wanna get the most out of your model kits, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Today, I'm gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Dispe 3.0 nippers. I'm very familiar with the God Hands and I've been interested in seeing what these are like. So without further ado, let's head over to my workstation. So the first thing you're gonna notice with this box is that it is a nice box. I mean, I haven't bought anything else that comes in a packaging like this. Not even the model kits come in a box this good. You know, it's real thick. It feels like it's meant to protect something important that's inside. So great job on the box. Next up is this leather protective sleeve. Um, a lot of the high-end side cutters come with one of these, or at least the ones that I've used have come with these. Um, slip your nippers in, keep them protected when they're in your case or when they're in transit, so you don't risk breaking the nippers themselves. After that, we're gonna go ahead and move directly onto the nippers. I'm gonna skip the manual and the microfiber cloth because I wanna get more into the important thing, which is the comparison. So as you can see, it's a single blade nipper style. Comes with a tool for adjusting um, the tension on the head, head itself. And basically what it does is it just allows you to adjust where um, the blade end stops before it reaches the other side. Or um, if you sharpen it down, you can go ahead and tighten it up so that the new blade now meets perfectly with the other end. So first impressions, basically, I think these things look like they're high quality products. I definitely feel like they're gonna give um, God hands a run for their money. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'll get set up for our experiment. Um, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side of the Dispay 3.0s and then the God hand 5.0s. All right, so here's gonna be the comparison that we're gonna be making. Um, before we get to that though, I wanna make a statement about the difference between the protective sleeves of the displays and the god hands and so when you feel them kind of from the outside the god hands feel a little bit stiffer than the displays do and i believe that's because inside the god hand sleeves there's a little bit of a felt layer that they've included to protect the, the um the nippers uh, i feel like it was a good touch because it's very comfortable um putting them in and out i feel like it's not going to catch or um, damage the nippers in any way or even scratch it compare that to the bare leather inside the display it doesn't feel as smooth and I'm not as comfortable with it as I am with the God Hand, so uh, putting the nippers in there, I feel like it might damage it. Will it actually do that? No, it might just be my own insecurity, but uh, just something to note in case that's a concern for you guys. So onto the actual experiment, what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the nubs using the Dispay 3.0 nippers for the fuel tank on the left, and then I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the God Hand nippers for the one on the right. I'll cut them all off, Put the pieces together and we'll go ahead and compare side by side to see if we can even um, tell if there's any difference between the displays and the god hands um i'm kind of looking forward to this point so i'm gonna go ahead and just get started right now all right i got the pieces all snapped up in my left hand here, I'm gonna have the um, display cut here, and then in my right hand is gonna be the um, full fuel tank that I cut with the gut hand. So looking immediately at the bottoms, um, starting it off, when I first kind of took a look at these, I honestly couldn't tell the difference. Um, feeling them, they feel the same. There's no real difference. Both of them have a little bit of a nub, and both of them are gonna need a little bit of sanding. So ultimately, there was no difference there to me. Moving on to the back of the tanks, same thing. Um, the nubs are still a little bit visible, but again, that's just gonna come down to just kind of me. I don't like cutting like that close on a on a rounded surface because I'd rather sand it down. And so again, nubs are basically identical. When it came to the back of the fuel tank here, kind of right at the base of the neck, the disc base came out a little bit smoother. Um, I don't think that was um, a consistent thing. I thought it was just kind of by chance. And then moving on to the top, the um, nubs here, they're basically identical. So. Based on the first test here, I don't see any real difference on the white plastic, but I'm gonna go ahead and move over to colored plastic to see if there's any difference. All right, so we're back with my blue pieces here. Um, again, I cut three fin funnel sections off on the left using the uh, display nippers here. And then on the right side, I went ahead and used the God Hand to cut out these three fin funnel sections here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just mix these up for um, comparison's sake and just to kind of prove a point here. Uh, if I pick out any two of these fin funnels here, I I honestly couldn't tell you which one way or the other, which one was better, which one was worse. If there was one that came out um, slightly better than the worst, I don't think it was by actually the nippers themselves. I think it might have just been, you know, by random chance. And so when, when I get them into focus, you can tell there's still a little bit of a stress mark here 
um, where the nubs were. And that's because the blue plastic tends to be a little bit um, more of a harsher plastic to cut because it stresses really easily, or at least the stress marks appear really easily on the blue plastic. So when comparing the disc base to the God Hands, again, could I pick out any one and say which one was better, which one was worse? Honestly, no. There's no way I could really tell the difference between the disc base or the God Hands. This is my best guess as far as which one is which. All right, so closing thoughts. Do I recommend the Dispay STA 3.0 nippers? Absolutely. I think these things are comparable to the God Hands right out of the box. They feel great. I mean, if I were to give you a piece cut by either one of them, I don't think you'd find a difference. Some people say that they do, but I think overall, if they were to kind of continue cutting, the differences that they see are going to start to get smaller and smaller, ultimately, as they continue to wear on. I think the real test is going to come down the line, you know, a month, two months, three months from now to see if the nippers continue to compete with the God Hands. One thing I will say is that the display coming in at $35 is definitely um, a good selling point in that it's almost half the price of a God Hand. Um, depending on where you find it, that could be anywhere between $50 to $60. And the display coming in at around $35 means you can go ahead and buy these nippers and a couple other things for the same price as you would just getting the God Hand. So I think that definitely kind of adds to the value of the display nippers, especially since it comes in such a nice box again. I mean, this thing is protected. It's definitely going to get to you no problems whatsoever. I think if, you know, God had stepped up with their packaging, I think it would um, kind of justify the $50 price point. But with the way Dispay comes in this nice box and it's still $35, definitely a hard price to beat. So there you have it guys, my review of the Dispay STA 3.0 nippers. I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some value out of this video. Remember, take care of yourselves, take care of the people around you, and I'll see you in the next one.